Hey guys and gals, Kenny here, Ken Small Engines. This is a short video about a Honda push mower that a customer said he would turn it on for a few minutes and then it would just die out. So I basically went through the standard things that we would assume it would be and it turned out to be something else. So take a look, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And at the end of the video, I got a special message from one of my friends. So stay tuned to the very end. Okay guys and gals, talk to you soon. Hey guys, quick tip. This is a Honda with the GCV 160 on it, three in one system. And the guy was complaining that it would run for five minutes and then shut off, then he let it cool off and it was running great, okay? And uh, at first, you know, you say, okay, gas cap, all right? So basically I told the guy, crack the gas cap and see if it makes it run any better. And he said, no, it didn't. I said, well, keep the gas cap off and see if it runs. And he said, nah, after five minutes it putters out and then uh, it dies and then lets it cool off for five minutes and it runs good. So I'm like, okay, maybe the coil, okay? So, you know, like we all do, we go and buy a Chinese coil and we throw it in and I did the same thing and uh, it was still a problem. You know, after five minutes, not even, maybe four minutes, all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. And I'm saying to myself, okay, what happens in that kind of time? Well, this is one of those Hondas that has, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it has one of the, in that housing there, see that housing? That's one of the wax chokes, okay? It's got the wax with the pin, and that pin pushes the linkage and it pushes the butterfly open. And what was happening is the carburetor was clogged, and while the choke was on and that wax was cool, it kept the choke closed, so it was feeding fuel through the other circuits, getting fuel running fine, because it was on choke. Once that wax choke opened up, okay, it then opened up, there was too much air, not enough fuel going through the jet. So I took the carb apart and there was not a big clog, but a little bit of clog in the uh, primary jet, not much. So I cleared that off. I cleared out the emotion tube, put it back together. Now she ran great. I've been running it for about 10 minutes. Everything runs good. So guys, if it runs for five minutes, shuts off, it's not necessarily ignition. It's not necessarily the gas cap. Look to see if your choke, when the choke fully opens, take the air cleaner off and watch the choke open. When that choke starts to fully open, if it starts sputtering like it's losing fuel, that means the carburetor is working properly as far as the choke goes, but the carburetor itself has a clog and it's not giving it enough fuel. All right, that's just a quick tip, guys. Make sure it's not always electrical. It's not always the va a vacuum plug in the gas tank. Check to make sure when that choke fully opens after a couple of minutes, if it starts dying, you got to plug up in your carburetor somewhere. So easy fix, take the carb off, clean out the jet, clean out the emulsion tube. Not a bad fix. 10 minutes. Guys back in business, I've been running it for at least 10 minutes now. It's running fine. So at this point, I'm going to go return it and make some money. All right, guys, just a quick tip on these Honda GCV 160s. Don't buy the coil. Don't buy the gas cap. Look at the choke. If the choke is starting to function and open up on that wax choke and all of a sudden it starts to die, that means there's a plug inside the carburetor. All right, guys, that's it for me. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, this little wax, thermal wax choke assembly, they call it by Honda. It's a pretty ingenious system. It's a sealed unit filled with wax. There's a seal on the shaft in the front. And when it heats up from the heat from the muffler, it will push that pin out a certain distance and that pin will actuate the choke and I'll show you a picture of that from the manual so you can see how the assembly works. In this case, it was functioning properly. It absolutely was. All right, guys, you can see here, here's the thermal wax choke assembly, okay? You have the thermal wax right there with the pin on the end, okay? And that goes into what the housing I showed you. When that pin, when it gets warm from the muffler, that pin pushes out right to here. This is the back of the bracket, okay? It pushes the back of the bracket and that pushes this linkage up top. And if you look at the next photo, here's the other side of that bracket. And this linkage that's up top here, that right there, that little piece of bracket, that pushes the choke open and closed. So the thermal wax pushes the back of this assembly. It rotates this opening spring-loaded assembly, which is spring-loaded so the choke is closed. And it opens up the choke when it gets warm. So pretty ingenious assembly. It's pretty cool. So, all right, guys, that's it. You got any questions about this? Um, you know, throw it in the comments. I'll be glad to answer any questions you got. It's a decent assembly. It works good. Uh, just remember, it's not always uh, 
the choke, it's not always the valves and the timing and the ignition and the fuel cap. Usually it's something stupid like a clogged jet, and that's what it was in this case. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Hello, everyone. I'm the Lawnmower Detective, and thanks for being here on Ken's Small Engine Repair Channel. Slide on over to my channel if you get a chance. I'm the Lawnmower Detective, and don't forget, it's donut time.